All right. Saginaw, you're officially on blast. Uh, da, 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 817, 232, 0311. Hi, who am I speaking with, please? This is Dispatch. Dispatch. Can you? Great. Can you tell me if there's like a, a, a sergeant or a watch commander or the highest ranking person there that I could speak with briefly, please? Yeah. Um, what I can do is I can take your information and have her give you a call back. Yeah, no thanks. No, I need to actually speak with somebody now. It's actually in regards to uh, filming in... in inside your public lobby and um, I saw a video on YouTube where somebody said that there was a juvenile present and that they couldn't be filming. I wanted to know if that was the chief of police that he was referring to as the juvenile or, or who, who was the juvenile in question and is it against the law to film inside a public police lobby? Is there a law? Is there a Texas law against that? I'm just curious. Great, that would be great. Thanks. Wow, shocker that I, she didn't have to take my name. Hi, Sergeant Ang. Uh, I was just curious if um, photography in a public police lobby was a crime. I actually know if, if rudeness was a crime um, to film people in a public lobby. Um, apparently, I, I saw a video from a, a gentleman by the name of News Now, Patrick. Uh, that's his moniker on YouTube. You can go check out. You can type in Saginaw and you can see the incident in question um, where he was filming inside a public police lobby and was told by one of the officers that there was a juvenile giving a statement um, and that he could not be present filming. So I was just curious if you guys shut off all of your overhead cameras out in the lobby. Also, if you shut off all of the cameras throughout the entire police department outside as well, because I mean, everybody, I mean, everybody knows that juveniles get priority uh, in this day and age. So um, I just wanted to know, um, so if I were to FOIA request all of that information, would I be able to see all the cameras go dark simultaneously when said juvenile made it on the property? Um, and if so, uh, would the mother, would she need to have called previously to put you guys on notice that there was going to be a juvenile uh, making a, uh, a police statement. Also, I was not sure too if the juvenile in question was actually the chief of police because apparently if you think that being rude is a crime, um, I, I would uh, venture a guess that the uh, chief of police uh, is a juvenile because everybody knows that photography is not a crime and you guys need to get your act together. And I'm happy to have um, 10,000 of my closest friends um, seek redress from their government here as well, uh, if you would like. So, uh, with that being said... Um, I'm sorry, maximum recording time was exceeded. All if you'd right. like to listen to your message, enter two. To re-record, no. enter pound. To cancel, pound star. You said, that's all you Thank you. Say. Your yeah. message has been sent. Perfect. If you need further assistance, enter pound now. All right, so that's it. So a uh, couple of uh, uh, newer auditors on the scene, um, Northern Colorado um, auditors. I think it's. I think that's his name. I'll put some uh, links in the description. Uh, and also, there's a new guy who's just on fire. Who's uh, he's not really a First Amendment auditor. He's been doing this a while. He's a little bit more of a 
sovereign citizen kind of guy. And um, his name is James, his screen name is James Freeman. And um, he did a couple of, um, of follow-up stories to uh, the Southeast Division and South Central Division. And he is a ball buster extraordinaire. And I fucking love this guy already. So I've um, uh, been on the phone with him. He's uh, very good at what he does. And he knows how to turn the screws and uh, give him uh, a shout and go check out his channel and um, give him some support. So um, that's it. Hope everybody uh, has a good Friday night or Saturday, wherever you are in the world.